I think for brands are, you know, <laughs> every brand's looking for an ROI, a return on investment, you know, especially on social media. So what, when I think of, when I work with brands um, on social media, I want to make sure that those brands line up with me and how I do things and how I would shoot and how I portray myself. Um, I've often found that brands that, you know, I've seen, I've, for instance, this, this is kind of a great example. Like the, it, it happened a little while ago, Miller, Miller, I think it was Miller High Life came out with um, these Instagram ads and you saw all these influencers post these really crazy shots of a beer can, but it wasn't their work <laughs> at all. Like it was, a, and I'm, you know, you could watch the comments roll in and everybody's just like, yeah, that's terrible. Like, why are you posting that right now? You're all about nature. Why are we, why are we seeing a beer can at Yosemite, you know? And, and so you had, you have all these things that um, these, these brands that, that try to like come in and connect with um, people, but yet infuse their own work, but it doesn't necessarily work, especially on Instagram because what, what Instagram is built on. And this is, I think this is super important for um, brands to know it's, it's based and then my friend, actually Pete Halverson and and I were talking about this, but it's, it's uh, brands are built on uh, community um, on Instagram and trust. So each brand, it's like going to a party, has their own community of people. You can find them. You can find like, uh, like uh, ballerina accounts. You can find food accounts. You can find um, uh, car accounts. I did, a, I did a campaign with True Car at one point. You can find um, you know, uh, architecture accounts. So every, every brand has an opportunity to connect with what, they're, um, what would even fit into their brand silos. And I think if brands can isolate and drill down and figure out which silo they want to be a part of or which silo they want to reach out to and find their, their community that's already purchased products or that's already um, represents who they are, then they have an opportunity to really kind of continue to win people on social. Yeah, I think what you've just been explaining and what I've been hearing is that community and these followers, this audience uh, is a super powerful audience. If they don't like something, they're going to let you know the thumbs down and um, they'll let you know in, in the comments below the, the image. And uh, right. you mentioned as well earlier on that you went and met up with, with some of these people and, you know, you'd built friendships with them. You felt like you already knew them prior to actually meeting them in, in person. Like, talk to us about how, how powerful that relationship is with uh, your followers. Yeah, I think, I think the, biggest the biggest thing I, <coughs> the biggest opportunity I had to do that with and even kind of live that out was with two guys I met on Instagram. One of them was named Eric Ward, who goes by Little Cole on Instagram. And the other guy's name is Ricky Staub, who owns a, uh, a film production company um, that was based in Philly, but now he's in LA as well. Um, and uh, he, his company's really interesting. It's called Neighborhood Film. And they're, they're a production company, so they work with really big brands. And they're, right now, he's been all over the country for the last six months shooting commercials. But the, the bread and butter of his company isn't necessarily what you would think. He sacrificed a lot of profit and a lot of what he does in order to develop an insert internship program that hires the incarcerated. So he pulls in interns through his company that hires um, people who have been formerly incarcerated. And, and when I look at that, I, you know, and Eric and I really um, – you know, we, we, we met Ricky and realized what, what an inspirational guy he was. Um, he had a passion project that he was like, you know, I really want to go across the country and I want to stay with people that I only know through Instagram and that I hadn't yet met face to face. Right. So it goes back to my connecting story from the beginning, this whole idea of we connected for the first time and we became really good friends. It felt like a family reunion. Only now we were going to make a documentary out of it. 